So I would hike 500 miles across the Colorado Trail And I would walk 500 miles through ice and snow and even hail the ladder. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I'm working on the logistics for starting the Colorado Trail. And uh, things have changed so much, I thought I'd talk about how it's changed, how to get ready for a through hike. And uh, I don't have a fire much, but I'm having one tonight, so we'll have a fireside chat. Worked for FDR when the only medium was just a radio. And really what I'm talking about today is all the different information sources we have. Uh, YouTube, Google Earth, Far Out. All these things help you on the trail, but they can also help you get ready to hit the trail. So when I started the Continental Divide in 99, I just showed up at Antelope Wells at the bottom of the boot heel in New Mexico and headed north. But uh, today, by getting ready for the, Con the uh, Colorado Trail, I've used uh, Facebook, uh, joined a group called Colorado Trail Through Hikers 2023. And I've gotten a lot of information from that. I've asked a few questions on resupply and within a half hour, two people answered my question. Uh, none of that was possible, you know, 20, 25 years ago. And it really makes things a lot easier. So now I know I'm gonna fly into Denver take a light rail from the airport downtown, catch another one to Littleton. Then I got my Google Earth out and found that there's a bike trail and I flew right along it. There's a state park about uh, six miles down. And uh, so it's about a nine mile hike from where I get off that light rail to Waterton Canyon Trailhead where the Colorado Trail starts. And, uh, you know, I'm going to walk 500 miles so I can walk that, that other nine. Uh, a lot of people take a Uber or find a trail angel, but um, I'll probably just hike it. I'm getting into Denver kind of late in the afternoon, so I could have a problem with uh, a darkness coming before I get to the trailhead. And then you can't camp on the trail for the first six, seven miles, I think. But homeless people do it all the time. So I'll find a little hidey hole. If I can't stay in that state park, which is, uh, like I say, about six miles from the light rail end, um, I'll find some other little hidey hole. And the other thing about this YouTube medium, and I think maybe they call these mediums because they're not well done. <laughs> maybe this channel. <laughs> but, uh, it, you know, I've got about 180 videos out there. So I had a um, viewer, uh, subscriber probably, that um, had been following my videos and said they won't be back again. <laughs> and, I, you know, I don't blame them. I, so where they're coming from is, I mean, I think kind of encapsulate what they said was, so when I was doing the Arizona Trail, uh, I've always used these Ultra Boots, love these Ultra Boots, these are 3.5s, but I had bought the All Weather, uh, one of the newer versions out, walked 100 miles in it, I liked them, I mean they seem to be doing the same jobs these boots did, didn't give me any problems, and so I gave them a good review on YouTube, and then I walked another 100 miles in them, and they uh, chafed my feet. They gave me hot spots in my heels on the side of my toes. They gave me ankle issues. And, you know, when I finished the Arizona Trail, I gave a bad review and compared them to these boots. And so that, you know, it, it sounds wishy-washy, but, you know, I'm, I'm telling you what I know when I know it. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not selling anything on this channel. I'm not representing anybody. I don't have an agenda. I'm just telling you what it's like for me and you know what works for me and what doesn't work for me. Yeah, the other thing is, you know, this tent. 
So I had this tent this fall and winter, sold it, went back to my hilly bird. Um, hilly bird ripped out, bought this tent. Because I never say anything bad about this tent. I, I like this tent, I have always liked this tent. It was just uh, maybe too big a footprint which I'm gonna to have to learn to deal with because I like everything else about it. Obviously, I bought another one. And uh, so when I put that up, <laughs> this same person has probably pushed them over the edge and the reason they won't be back to my videos again. But again, I reserve the right to change my mind. I'm always in flux and uh, that's just the way it is with gear and so I, again, I'm not, don't go out and buy a pair of boots or a pack or a tent because I like it. Do your due diligence. When I buy something on Amazon, I listen to everybody. I read all the comments and take a consensus. You know, some people will bitch if they're hung with a new rope. <laughs> and so you just can't take one review and decide to buy a piece of gear from it. And uh, so... Anyway, I'm heading out on the trail. I may, you know, I, I don't want to pay a hundred bucks for uh, eight hours in a hostel or a hotel room in Denver. So I'll probably just find a little hidey hole. I've never had a problem. As FDR said, the only fear we have is fear itself or something like that. Keep smiling.